Mr. Darcy came only to be silent, grave and indifferent, I wonder why he came at all. Now this first meeting is over. I feel perfectly easy. I know my own strength and shall never be embarrassed again by his coming. I'm glad he's coming on Tuesday. For it will then again be publicly seen that on both sides we meet only as common and indifferent acquaintances. Yes, very indifferent. Oh, Jane, take care. Oh, you cannot think me so weak as to be in danger now. I think you are in very great danger of making him as much in love with you as ever. The men shan't come apart as I am determined. We want none of them, do we? No, we want none of them. <laughs> Tell me, is your sister still at Pemberley? Yes, she will remain there till Christmas. I'm quite alone. Have all her friends left her? They have gone on to Scarborough these three weeks. There he has gone, and you are saved the trouble of talking to him. Your mother will make him play whist, and he will not be able to bother us again. Good night. 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 Well, girls, what say you to that? I think it all passed off remarkably well. And the venison was roasted to a turn. And the soup was 50 times better than what we had at the Lucas's last week. Even Mr. Darcy acknowledged that the partridges were well done, and he must have, oh, two or three French cooks at least. Oh, Jane, I never saw you in greater beauty. Even Mrs. Long agreed with me and said, Mrs. Bennet, we shall see her at Netherfield at last. Hmm. Thank you, Miss. Well, it has been a very agreeable evening. Well, the party seems so well selected. I hope we may often meet again. <laughs> oh, pray do not smile. Oh, you must not suspect me. It mortifies me. <laughs> I am perfectly satisfied from Mr. Bingley's present manners that he never had any design of engaging my affection. Well, it is only that he is blessed with greater sweetness of address and a stronger desire of generally pleasing than any other man. You are too cruel. You will not let me smile, yet are provoking me to do it every minute. <laughs> How hard it is in some cases to be believed. Why do you wish to persuade me that I feel more than I acknowledge? We all love to instruct, though we teach only what is not worth knowing. Forgive me. 